Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 8th of 2024 is titled Pandora's Cluster of Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is the galaxy cluster known as Abel 2744. And this galaxy cluster is actually a very large cluster and may actually be a merger of multiple galaxy clusters. Now galaxies have a tendency to do this galaxies tend to group together. So they will group together into small groups which will group into galaxy clusters which can group into super clusters. So galaxies have a tendency to like to gravitate together through their intent their gra intense gravitational fields because of the mass there. Now this cluster as we see here imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope is actually dominated by what we call dark matter. So you look at all these galaxies here and in fact just about everything you look at except for that one bright spiky star in the center and there may be a few more scattered around is a galaxy. So everything we're seeing here is a galaxy. However, based on our studies of the motion of them, these galaxy clusters should not remain together. They should slowly spread out over time. And that's because there is not enough visible matter to hold them together. There is not enough gravity to hold them and keep them together. They should slowly disperse and galaxies would be more evenly spread throughout the universe. However, they're, they're not they actually last and they are there for billions of years. And what we see when we look look at this to better understand them, we find that what we need to explain it is dark matter. So for every galaxy you see here, and that includes all of the stars, all of the material within that galaxy, we need another 20, 30, 50 galaxies or more to be able to explain the gravitational effects. So it comes down to either our understanding of gravity is completely wrong on these scales, which doesn't seem very likely, or there is a large amount of dark matter far more than of the regular matter that we're used to studying in astronomy. Now we can study that not only through galaxy motions, but also through gravitational lensing effects. Gravity mass it will distort the material around it. It will distort space and time around it. And light that has to travel through that distorted space and time has to take convoluted paths to get to us. And that means that we'll see some galaxies that end up being distorted by the gravitational field that they are passing through. And that again allows us to measure the amount of mass needed to complete the bending that is observed. So it gives us multiple ways of measuring the mass. And every way we measure the mass, we find out that there has to be far more matter present than what we actually see in just galaxies or can even account for with other types of objects such as black holes and anything else. There is far more. There is an unusual type of matter that makes up the vast majority of the matter in the universe. So that was our picture of the day for June 8th of 2024. It was titled Pandora's Cluster of Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.